Hey there, Signs of Cancer. This is Kim here to do a reading for you all for your next 48 hours. Hope everybody's been doing good. Thank you so much for supporting this channel in all the ways that you do. Sending you much love back. And if you're interested in the private reading, you get one with a donation for limited time. So check that out and give me at least 24 hours to get back with you too with that. All right. So this is a dream totem cards, by the way. Calling in your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. The sign of cancer. Please give us as clear and concise a message as possible. There we go. We're going to take those three. Steadiness. Things seem to be moving slowly, but use this time to your advantage and gather your resources to rebuild your energy. This says you're going to need it. All right, this one, worthwhile. I feel like something is worthwhile. Like whatever this is, whatever experience this is, no matter what the outcome, it's, an, it's a good experience. It says life is not about being taught a lesson for getting something wrong. It's about having an experience that adds richness to your life. Uh, and then this, because without self-love, you're really going to only attract how much love you get, you know, you get from yourself is what you're putting out there to receive, what you feel like you deserve, which is a limiting belief. Um, having self-love puts off this energy of people realizing that you know that you deserve any kind, various kinds of love and, in, uh, and that you're worthwhile. But this is also other people noticing that too. So increase the self-love. This is about finances, possible business situation, business strategy, or things like that. It's a new deck. It's the divine feminine entrepreneur. It doesn't have to be a feminine person watching this, but it applies to you. So what kind of cards do we have for Cancer, please, Spirit? Stand out. Personal brand. All right, we got a lot. <sighs> Master how you handle your thoughts and emotions on a daily basis. Believe. Lots of people have gotten this. Say yes to new adventures. Saying yes to believing in yourself and in your business vision. Move forward knowing that your success is assured. Stand out. Personal brand. List ways to bring out what makes you and your brand extraordinary so that you can stand out from the crowd. Flow. Get more done by entering the flow state. Completely and joyfully focus on what you're working on without multitasking. So be in the flow, be really focused and uh, determined to do the one thing that you're handling at a time very, very well. So, okay, book clients. Focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goal. That's smart. Clarify. Get clear on what activities and online platforms bring in the best clients and customers and focus your attention there. Ignore distractions. It almost seems like what social media are you going to focus on? You don't do too many. Um, you know, you might want to expand it sometimes, sure, but um, too many is like a lot to keep up with. All right, so allow, get out of your own way and let the doors of success open for you. Drop resistance and go with the flow. Allow things to flow in the way that they're supposed to. Then journal, keep a journal for your business. Write down your dreams, desires, and goals and paint a picture of the lifestyle that you want and review it each day. Okay, so there's your cards. Let's do it like this so I can get a few angel numbers out and then we're gonna start the reading for you cancer I can get that right okay angel number messages for cancer please Wow <laughs> 
just a few. I'm gonna stop there because that's, that's a lot. I, didn't, I don't always have that many flowing out. So this is about creation 33. Any positive changes or projects you're considering right now would be well worth, wow, worth your time. I am expanding. 11, 11 could be twin flame energy too. This is a general reading, but we can apply all of these to different situations. So the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. 10, you have great leadership skills. Allow, um, allow yourself to dream in genius dreams, organize all the details, direct others how to carry things out that's like boss you're the boss cancer you're the boss all right 28 in an effort to accomplish great things you recognize the value of working with others and you make a capable and once again compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement i am a leader so there you go strong messages for you let's get um Let's get the smaller deck since I really don't have that much room right here without you not seeing those cards. So I do want you to see those. All right, so just a general spread, please, for the sign of Cancer Spirit, as clear and concise as you can get the messages for me. Two pass, two Cancer. Always to move them forward. Positive energy. Ability to see the silver lining. Let's go. What is the issue here? What's the issue for cancer? What's our issue? Our issue might have to do with no communication coming in. And it's like at this point, any news would be good news is what it feels like. I'm th I just thought of that um, saying. Any news at this point would be good news because there has, hasn't been news on something or somebody just hasn't communicated and let you know something that's going on could have to do with a heartbreak or a loss situation that's not everybody but underlying might be some kind of sadness all right the challenge what's the challenge for cancer the challenge is oh wow guys this is your root okay the challenge is standing up for yourself knowing what you want defining doing a journal writing down what you believe what you feel you're going to stand up for what do your morals say about you do you hold your ethics close to your heart um stand up for yourself or stand up as an advocate for others wheel of fortune is at the base or the root of everything is that there is a new cycle coming it is going to be good news it just hasn't reached you yet this news hasn't be in anticipation to receive and, and realize that something that you are worthy of receiving this success signs could be aquarius scorpio taurus and leo What's the past energy here? The Ten of Wands. Taking on too much? Um, I don't know, actually. I'm feeling like maybe in the past there was something to do with shared responsibility. Um, even though this card sometimes means exhaustion, well, most of the time it does. Taking on too much. I feel like something helped you lighten your load here in the because of how it's positioned positioned in your past. Wheel of Fortune, look, another cycle, something new, something that you're gonna like that's gonna make you feel and realize that you have elevated, you have ascended. So what is the present energy about? Gone through initiation and so present energy feels like you don't have any more energy to give something because there's just no communication here. It is a challenge for you to stand up to yourself when you're not there to do it. That might be a Leo too. That's not present. Can be meaning that too. So uh, the near future energy is... Your future energy, the chariot, 
and the Four of Pentacles. We don't really have these up or down, so I'm just going to place them like this so you can see the pictures. So the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot here, you're holding on to what you've got. You're being responsible with your success and your increase. Also, in the near future, you have this build of power. It's either in the area of self-development or it's building up this business energy. It is good luck fueling this because it's aligned with purpose. I know it may feel like there's no energy at the moment to put into something like you maybe, uh, that's what I'm saying, maybe in the past something was a little bit lighter of a load for you than this. Um, and the chariot is uh, saying that, yeah, you, you are on your way to success. You found the right vehicle or you found the right choice in path or you made the right decision. Something was right. <laughs> your persistence, perhaps. So, Cancer, that's your energy charging forward. Definitely victorious. How do you feel? Probably not too great with that sun in reverse. You may feel exhausted. Yeah, you're tired of fighting and you're tired of waiting on this either new beginning or message regarding finances. Um, this news, this communication hasn't come yet. So it is regarding stability, safety, security, and finances. It could just be like stability in a, in a relationship. Something is, is has not come yet. And you're not fighting for something anymore here. Or somebody else, somebody who wouldn't budge on their opinion. It almost feels like you haven't heard from one of those people. Like the ones that didn't budge on their opinion haven't gotten word yet. I doubt that you'll listen much because you're kind of to yourself here. So I think you are going to persist. You're just not going to fight over something. You're not going to view something as competition. It's no competition because you obviously have the win. The external situation here in the environment for cancer, please. The external. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, I told you. This came here because of a good decision. And there's the um, confirmation to that. The lovers. A good decision. Coming to a crossroads that alters your time and your experience completely. And the chariot is saying, yeah, you made a really good decision. Could have met a soulmate energy. Or this is partnership in a different way and good decisions. Loving, compassionate energy, working well with others. Let's look at your hopes and fears. This is just hopes and fears. Um, fearing that something is not going to get equaled out or that justice won't be served because somebody didn't get to speak their truth. That is the fear, fearing that the scales will never be tipped even, fearing something will never be balanced again. That's fear, so don't get stuck in your fears. What is the outcome here for cancer? Oh, wow. See? Upright. The world. I shouldn't fear because this is what you have to look forward to. The world card, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. There you go. The world card. It is a new chapter. It was a completion and an ending to one and a, now a new chapter, something really big. It's fueled by good decisions, hard work, and personal development. Listening to yourself, trusting yourself, and being open to receive what you're waiting on at this moment. All right, so that's pretty much what I have for you. No, oh, let's feel like that. I get obsessive and then I'm just going to end the end it anyway. So that is for cancer. Cancer, I do have you patiently like waiting on something here. Patient, patiently waiting on something. So I'm feeling like we need to do the ask the angels or angel answers. So that maybe some of you can get us some answers on this victory or when this is going to happen. You can either come up with questions for it or you can just see what comes out and see how it relates to your situation. For Cancer, Angel Answers didn't want to come out. Angel Answers for Cancer. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. 
Yeah, because somebody was getting really tired and running out of energy. Number two. Number two. Communicate clearly. Yeah, something that you're not communicating or um, the message that you're wanting to receive. Something about communicating to get that stuff done. Okay, we'll do a third one. Ask your angels. Ask your angels. Ask your own angels to come in and give you some messages. Listen to your intuition on the bottom. Definitely. All right. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Sending you lots of love and light your way. Have a nice 48 hours.